this October 20th through the 22nd, TFCon Orlando at Doubletree by Hilton Hotel Orlando at SeaWorld with special guests Bob Budiansky, Victor Caroli, Dan Gilvison, Gary Chalk, Richard Newman, Alex Milne, David Sobloff, and Casey Kohler. Meet mediocre YouTubers, Bert the Stormtrooper, Deluxe Baldwin, Diecast Norbs, Engineer Hoist, Fire Talks, Ghost Prime, Kato's Collection, Patriot Prime, Rodimus Primal, and Treebot. If you see them, make sure and say hi. You'll most likely find them at the bar. That's TFCon Orlando in October. Be there! Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is sponsored by ToyHacks.com. They're your one-stop shop for reproduction decals for your vintage G1 Transformers and upgrade decals for your modern bots. Weaponry for your figures from the Toy Hacks Armory and great looking backdrops for your display from Toy Stages. And when you visit ToyHacks.com, make sure and use my monthly promo code to save 15% off your order. So yes, 15% off when you use my promo code right here. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the video. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Amazon exclusive Transformers Legacy Evolution Nova Prime. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got some great looking artwork of Nova Prime in his robot mode. Looking absolutely spectacular right there. And up here on top of this building, we've got the other Amazon 2 packs of Dana Clark Orion packs, Senator Shockwave, Senator Ratbat, and Minor Megatron. This side of the box features, I believe this is the Senate floor and those are the seats because I can make out other bots right there in the stands. Back of the packaging is product shots featuring Nova Prime in robot mode, truck mode, super robot mode, and his battle truck mode. This side of the box features the artwork that we've seen since day one. Now I am really excited to get this figure because I know he is a retool of Siege Galaxy Optimus Prime, which is a figure that I didn't pick up. So this is going to be a new experience for me. And I also want to show you how they have this box. This is kind of neat. Instead of all the tape and the flaps you open up, you just cut the tape right here. And this flap just opens right here in the front, if I can get it. Just opens up like this, and look how Nova Prime is packaged. He is sealed up in a ton of wrapping paper. So open him up. Yeah, he's packed in robot mode. So now, without further ado, let's finish opening Nova Prime up and check him out. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Nova Prime all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with quite a few accessories you need to attach to complete his super robot mode that he already comes packaged in. So first off, you have these two shoulder pads, and these go right on top of his shoulders here. If you look underneath, you got a peg and a hole that line up to the hole in the smokestack on the robot's shoulders. So just get those lined up and those will slide right on. Go ahead and do this for the other arm as well. Next up, we've got these two wrist guards and wrist blasters. And these attach via a round peg and a rectangle peg. So we'll go ahead and attach those to his arm right there. There's one. And there's the other. Then we have these two blasters. And these look just like the blasters that came with Siege Ultra Magnus. And these can attach to his legs right there via the peg on the side. 
If you have Ultra Magnus, you know how this works. So there you go. And you also have a blaster. Now we have a complete Nova Prime. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, I think this guy looks great. He's very regal with his wings back there, though I wish they did have a little bit more color. Love the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks great with the horns. He's got the silver right there inside the crest. He's got a silver mouth plate with some extra black accents underneath. Kind of a dark gray chest with some blue sections right there and there. More gold on the waist, more gold on the crotch area. Moving on down to some of that blue gray on the calves. Got some gold fists. I mean, he looks good. Very, very white. I wish he had a little bit more color to him, but you know, he's not too bad. He looks awesome. Now, as far as articulation goes, the wings, they can flap a little bit. The arms could do a complete 360 if the wings were not in the way. There is a elbow bend. The arms can go out, they can go in, they can rotate, and there is fist rotation. There's also waist rotation. Legs can go out, they can go in, they can go forward on a nice ratchet, and they can go, man, that's tight. They can go back. There's also a nice deep knee bend, ankle tilt, and rotation. So he's pretty well articulated for such a big old chunky bot. Now, he did come with his rifle right here that you can put in his hand like so, and there you go. So he's got his rifle right there, and he also has these wrist blasters that I believe are blast effect compatible. Let's see, I've got a couple of blast effects right here. You have to use the smaller, more narrow ones, but yeah, there you go, you got his wrist blaster activated and of course the rifle here is also blast effect compatible so there you go and oh yeah his leg blasters they are blast effect compatible as well so there you go of course that didn't stay in now also he's got these massive cannons on his back let me remove the rifle from his hand right here and these blast effects, these giant cannons can actually rotate around. Let me get this out of the way. Rotate around and he can wield these underslung. Now the handles right here can slide forward and back. So let me get those to match up. They need to slide all the way forward, I believe. So there's one. Rotate around this one. Now you got to get the arms just right to get this to fit. Get that around that big gun. Get that in his hand. Maybe. That didn't slide it all the way forward. It has to go forward. And there we go. Now, you're gonna take his blaster and it'll plug into the end of this gun. And there we got Nova Prime with his mega cannons opening fire and these are blast effect compatible too you already saw that with the rifle and then we have this one right there so there we go nova prime all armed and ready for battle and that looks awesome though it does take away the articulation for the arms because he can really only only hold the cannons in that pose right there now let's get Nova Prime transformed into his smaller robot mode. And the first thing we're gonna do is remove all of the attachments that we already put on. We got the shoulder pads, the guns right here, the wrist mounts or the wrist blasters. That one's tight. Go ahead and flip the cannons back up. And we're going to remove this whole chest, head, and back piece. You're going to flip this up right here. It attaches right there via those pegs. So bring this up. And then we're going to snap it loose from the back. And so all of this, just put that to the side. We're going to take off the leg pieces. Those just slide right off. Very similar to Ultra Magnus. Now, what we're gonna do is slide the chest forward. 
bring this section up right there fold the arms back bring the chest down and that snaps in really tight flip the head up bring the chest back in everything lined up snap the arms back into place and there we have Nova Prime in his smaller robot mode and looks pretty good whoops forgot to push the chest back and now you're gonna take the belt section here flip this around so the little robot has a gray belt and honestly I'm not a fan of that I mean it's got some great looking sculpted detail on it but it just I don't know for me it doesn't work I think it looks better if you leave it like that but this is what you're supposed to do so anyway checking out his head sculpt very Optimus Primish right there with the silver for the crest blue eyes silver mouth plate got that nice Galaxy Prime front right there with the angled windows. You got the gold trim right there, the dark gray underneath, the headlights. The fists are the same as they were for Nova Prime or his large robot mode. Got the wheels you can see now that look really good. And he cleans up pretty nice. There's no big gaps whatsoever. Uh, articulation, the exact same as the larger bot. Now, he can wield his weaponry. We got the, see if I can detach that with one hand. He got his blaster right here that he could hold. And also, oh, forgot one thing. He's got these big heel spurs that can flip out to kind of help him stand up. He is a little top heavy. And you can also use, here we go, these black blasters right there. So there you go, you got Nova Prime's mini robot, all armed and ready for battle. And you could also, if you want, if you want to use both of them, I believe these can attach to his forearm, though it does look a little weird. So now let's get Nova Prime transformed into his vehicle mode. And the first thing we're going to do is unpeg the shoulders, slide the chest forward once again, and this gives you clearance to open up the chest piece, flip the head in, bring this back up, and snap that in place. Go ahead and bring, let's see, nope, what we're gonna do now is slide this section all the way down and rotate the chest around. So we've got this gray thing right here in front. Now you're gonna bring the waist section down, or the crotch piece down, bring the legs up and around and over, Sometimes easier said than done because it's on such a tight ratchet. Go ahead and turn that sideways, that'll help. So bring this up. Go ahead and bring the other leg up. Collapse that heel spur in. Now, let's see. I'm missing something. I guess you can leave the chest. Yeah, you can leave that up. I'm sorry. Bring that all the way up, and the thighs will punch tab in. To these little tabs on the crotch piece. So there you go. Go ahead and squeeze the legs together right there. Bring the arms back and around just like so. And you got these tabs right here. They're going to slot in there. Sometimes it's difficult to get those lined up just right. What am I doing wrong? Smokestack's not giving me clearance on this one side. Because I didn't have it in all the way. Nope. Something is amiss. There we go. Have to have that out a little bit. There you go. Give that clearance right there. Got the legs up. Now you got these pieces right here that were on the arms, and they are going to attach now to this gray piece via the same round peg and rectangle hole. Match it up right there. There's one. Here is the other. And actually, bring that down. Then when you attach it, I hate, par <laughs> I hate parts forming figures. Line that hole with that peg, the other two right there. 
There we go. Try this one more time. Okay, there we go. Now bring this truck section, the front section forward. And there is Nova Prime's cab. And honestly, it looks kind of lame. You got the fists hanging out right there. Yeah, it doesn't look very good at all. I like how the fists form that guard, that brush guard right there. That looks awesome. Now for the trailer, we have to transform the super robot pieces. And we're going to start here with the chest and backpack. First thing we're going to do is rotate the chest around so it's facing back. Then collapse the chest piece underneath. Then we've got this backpack section. We're going to extend this out just like so right here. Bring this around and there is a, let me find it. There's a tab right there that's gonna go into this slot right here. So you gotta make sure these little sections are back. Bring this up, bring the head and chest section down. Peg that in so you've got this look going on right here. Go ahead and swing the wings forward and bring those down and we're pretty much done with that. Now we need to bring in the boots and the shoulder pads and what we're going to do is take the shoulder pad section right here. Get the section with the nub there. You're going to slide this in just like so and it's actually going to lock into place right there. There is a little round tab. If you can see that right there, that when you put this in just right, it's going to fit in right below and lock into place. Let's go ahead and do this with the other one. Tab down. Find that little section. And there we go. That one's in. Now we're going to take the two boot sections and tab them together just like so. Now, if the giant heel spurs are out, fold those back in. Now, right here, this is the tricky part. You're going to hook, you got these slots right here. You're gonna hook these, well, hooks right in there while tabbing these holes into the section right behind the heels. You can see right there. Let me see if I can get this. Honestly, this is one I really hate this figure's transformation. It's just way, way more work than what it should be. Let me get these out of the way. So we'll hook those in, bring these up. Let's see if I can get everything to line up just right. Maybe easier to get those in first. Bring the hooks up and snap those in place. There we go. It wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Now we're going to take this whole mess right here and attach it via that slot right there. So it's going to peg in and around. just like that. That'll go down and cover the fists. And then you're gonna bring these wing sections around and you got these little pegs right here. They're gonna line up with that right there. So bring that up and over, peg that in. Do it here for the other side. Peg that in. You're gonna take the guns, bring those over. Or no, excuse me, those need to go in. So flip those around, flip them down. We'll take the giant cannon right here, attach that, take your two big guns, and these are gonna go, let's see, on the side right there. And there, and there we go. There is Nova Prime in his vehicle mode. And what a pain in the butt to transform. I have never liked the way this figure transformed. The same with Ultra Magnus. It was just way too much parts for me and way too fiddly for me. But once you get him together, I mean, he doesn't look too bad. He suffers from the same thing that Ultra Magnus did is he's not 
perfectly straight so he doesn't roll where it really good and the cab doesn't turn I mean he's just a straight vehicle and very gappy it just seems like he's missing a lot especially right here these wing sections I don't think looks very good but everything else looks awesome I love the details right here on the giant cannons that looks great you got the black cannons right there to kind of fill in the big gaps right there let's see if I can probably get that down a little better to cover those fists but I'm afraid if I do the whole damn thing's gonna fall apart he rolls eh, he rolls all right man I could tell he drags a lot but you know it is what it is now for comparison I do have Earthrise red alert right there so there you have a size comparison in vehicle mode so yeah that's pretty much it. There you have Nova Prime in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Legacy Evolution Nova Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Earthrise Optimus Prime, and Siege Ultra Magnus. The Amazon exclusive Transformers Legacy Leader Class Nova Prime is a fun Transformers toy. The robot mode is absolutely packed with firepower. If you have enough blast effects, you can really display this guy looking awesome. Plus, the super robot mode has a lot of great details to it, though I do wish it had a little bit more color. The inner robot mode is okay. It's a basic white prime looking figure, but the vehicle mode, I am not a fan of the vehicle mode or the parts forming transformation. But parts forming has been around since 1984. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So, does a Transformers Legacy Evolution Nova Prime belong in your collection? Absolutely. Especially if you're like me and you never picked up the Siege Galaxy Prime. I really enjoy this figure. He's got a few flaws, but he's still a great bot. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out and thank you to all my current channel members, because it's your support that helps keep this channel going. Once again guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!